Hey, what's up guys? Millsco here. Welcome to Starbound 1.4 uh, Modded Dragon Universe. And uh, I've got some mods. <laughs> yeah, here's here's what I got. I'm not adding to any... I'm not adding to it anymore. Um, unless you got something super <laughs> amazing, this is it. Uh, it's, it's modded. Um, go ahead and look them up. They're all in the workshop. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Starting a new game. 1.4, I believe. I think it's 1.4 still. Uh, yeah, I've got modded... Um, modded characters. Modded uh, races, I guess. Um, I have an idea of what I want to go for. So, uh, I've started a game with uh, Veluish, uh, which is this guy right here. Um... Yeah, and that's been a lot of fun, but that's off camera, and I want to do something with you guys today. So I'm thinking I might go for a Scath, or a stinking Scath. Um, uh, once invaded by an alien force, which forced them to focus on their military and their defenses, their extraordinary... Uh, ex their extraordinary well-trained fighters. Their aquatic origins make them especially dangerous in water and make them a force to be reckoned with. Uh, diet Omnivore, that's a plus. That's what I want. I want Diet Omnivore because then I don't really have to worry about food. I just can't eat robotic food. Um, they've got perks. Uh, plus 10% physical. Uh, plus 2500 breath, which is good. Swim boost. Ocean biomes, they do good. In hot biomes, uh, they have less energy. Um, they get, uh, healing waste in swamp waters, they get, uh, plus 5% health regen, which is nice. Uh, they get a little more health in those places, in water, basically. Uh, and plus 6 defense. Their weapons, energy weapons, uh, gives them a crit chance and a better damage multiplier. Assault Rifles give them a plus 1% crit chance. Their weaknesses are a 10% resistance to fire, radioactive, and shadow, and minus 30% electric, which is okay. I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what I want to go for today. So we're going to build a character for episode 1. It's going to be a male. Um, is it? Is it going to be a male? Hmm... Hmm. Yeah, let's go for a male character. <laughs> I don't know how I'd play a female. Well, I could. I mean, it's not that much different, but... Um, yeah, I'm just going to randomize until I see something that I can get a good base on. Um, What am I going for? That looks alright. Start there. Uh, what color will this scath be? So this is a... Um, an aquatic origin race. So let's see. Um, I kind of want to go maybe like a light blue skin color. Something like that. What kind of hair we got? Uh, anything crazy? Not really. Not really. Look at that. Horns. What kind of horns do we want? Want big old crazy spirally ones, maybe? No, <laughs> looks good. Oh, I didn't even realize those were fins. Um, are we pretty much matching? Hmm, that looks all right. Color. Oh, it's just a stripe. Um, you know, really doesn't matter too much, right? Maybe different. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go there. What kind of personality we want? Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, I always go for that one. Let's go for that one. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna name this guy? Um, if it starts with mule, we're taking it. Mirzu, ooh, that's close. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, I think I saw one. Merler, Mer, Vesta. Is that all? Artago. Um, come on. Not very many names. Come on. <laughs> Baloo. Let's go Baloo. Watch this. A smule. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, do we want to skip the intro mission? Have we seen it before? We have. I'm going to skip it. Um, it. Uh, I always do this. I'm going to skip it. We've seen it a million times. We're going to skip it. All right, here we go. A smule. Oh, this tells me that uh, there's a research system. Okay, we've escaped Earth. That's where we're, uh, I'm sleeping here. I have a crab pet. Okay, here we are on the ship. We've escaped Earth. Please reboot the system. Ship has sustained major damage when escaping Earth. Please select which ship type you want. Bracken ship, build your own ship. Choosing from a variety of presets. Uh, requires installation of a new FPL drive. Do I, I really don't want that I'd rather go vanilla and just um, and the reason being uh, is because this is a lot of work uh, let's go for vanilla ship what do I want to go fracking I've never really gotten this hmm <clears throat> vanilla Normally, the ship type won't have access to some features. Uh, back. Let's go fracking. Let's do it. Oh, nice. I get to pick at least. Uh, I am a scath, right? That's what I picked, right? Okay, good. <laughs> I had to make sure. Preview. Let's take a look. Ooh, -hoo! okay. That's the one. Uh, the fracking ship upgraded differently. Confirm. Did it, should I have read that? Oh, here we are. Some tricoder is absolutely essential to your survival. The primary mouse function provides access sets, mech configuration, tech upgrades, and more. You've got one in your inventory. But yeah, I've never really done this because it seemed very complicated. This looks awesome, though. Let's check it out. The FTL drives out. Okay. Uh, personal tricoder. Is that on my... I'd rather have that. Let's see. On this menu... Um, this menu is for, unfortunately, I don't get anything in this, uh, should be in here though, right? Oh yeah, okay, let's see, damaged pistol, I'd rather have this here, with a shield, um, take our canned food, our torches, we'll go here, a flashlight, actually go there. Then we will go torches. Sorry, let me get this set up real quick. Torches are lights. There it is. Okay, um, yes, I know about all of this. You guys can read it down here if you wish. It's, you know, uh, it's telling you how to do things. I've, I've been playing Fracken for a little bit, so I'm kind of familiar. Uh, I'm gonna make mistakes because I'm human and I'm also muley so we're gonna <laughs> oh boy this is slow without the dash okay uh, I guess this is my room it's in here scath chest nothing I kind of dig it this is cool it's in here nothing uh, turn on all the things of course make it look important oh I got a microwave oh man this is gonna be easy easy game right 
Uh, okay, personal tricoder. Yes, thank you. Matter, matter manipulator. Yep, uh huh. Uh -huh, uh huh. Thanks. Okay, anyway, uh, personal tricoder. So, here is one of the big things for Fracking Universe, guys. Um, you have to research things. So, it tells you your racial traits, it tells you your resistances. Uh, we have minus 30 to electric, 10 to fire, um, minus 10 to radioactive, minus 10 to shadow. I think this is shadow. Uh, yeah, see this? He's. It, sales telling us, like, do not lose it, but it's okay. You can buy another one somewhere. Um, but yeah, so you have research trees. So agriculture, you start here and you follow. Uh, a, a research tree to learn things. So um, you're going to have to learn how to make a foraging table and flags and hoes and wells and all that. And then eventually you're going to unlock different types of seeds that you can get through uh, greenhouses and machining tables and stuff like that. And all the way up to uh, some crazy stuff, which is modded. And yeah, uh, there's beekeeping, there is husbandry. Uh, which is this is really cool <laughs> This gets pretty intense like a lot of these get very very intense so There's different farming and gathering and survival and basic fishing. This is all just agriculture because if you go here There's also weapons you have to learn how to craft your weapons and different uh, sets for different ore uh, This is durasteel for instance. There's also things like triangulum. There's also uh, alloys like Tritanium equipment. Um, solarium, one of the best you can get in vanilla is here. There's also Densinium, uh, Isogen, Pyrite, you know, different things. Um, you, need den you can do dense alloy equipment. This is about where my other character is. He has Sunwalker robes. So I'm here and I've been playing it for a while. So there's still things to do. Um, it's very long. There's chemistry. Uh, you slowly gain research, and research is a big thing here. See, it says you need 200 research, glass, and woven fabric to unlock this. So, we'll get into that. Uh, what's the first thing we need to do? You found a firearm, ammo, shields, okay, cool. Um, let's go over here and get a quest. Are you my pet? You're amazing. You're not red. Okay, uh, we're, in, we're currently in orbit around an unknown world. The ship is heavily damaged and we are unable to leave orbit. I suggest you beam down to the planet's surface using the teleporter and search for supplies and perhaps a means of fixing the ship. Okay, so, uh, explore the orbited planet. It's time, my friends. We've got our canned food, yes. I do believe. We do, four cans. Okay. Um, oh. FTL drive fuel hatch. Okay, this is going to be pretty cool, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, ready? Going down. Let's start this episode. Let's start this adventure with a uh, Asmule. Uh, thank you. Okay, first things first. Let's get some of those red flowers. Um, I. I do have torches here. Okay, this is where we beam down. Please, thank you. Okay, um, let's chop down some trees. Wood is very important, right? Also, I got some red petals. That's good. <laughs> it's not very useful. But wood is uh, definitely, definitely useful to start with. Um, you found some wood. My databanks tell me wood is a material with a great many uses. Just you kill additional trees for more wood. Yeah, and I also need the saplings, right? So we can plant more. Okay. Now, wheat. That's that's an important crop there. Uh, wheat doesn't spoil. You can make bread. It's amazing. Bre well, you guys have probably had bread before. Um, but yeah. Hold on one second. I gotta text my wife. Oh my gosh. She's talking about dinner. Um.
Okay. Sorry. Really? Yeah, Muley. You had to do that. Like, episode one of a, you know, a series. All of a sudden, I'm, uh... Yeah. So I learned how to make plant matter by picking up uh, some of this plant matter. These, um... This place is... This... What is it? These ruins, I guess? Uh, typically don't have anything. I, if you hold alt, you can see everything you can interact with. Um, yeah. A, a crate with nothing in it. Like, there's not really a lot going on in these places. Even this chest, watch. I come through here, and I open the chest, and it's got nothing in it. I don't know why, but that's just one of those things <laughs> we'll have to... <laughs> deal with. I'm coming here. I'm I'm in here grabbing these just for the storage, really. I mean, there's no... Uh, how about we go like this? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Furniture? Should we get some furniture? Sure, why not? Get a table. It's a pedestal. I mean, we will use it as a table. These things slow you down. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm kind of waiting for daylight, too. Of course we came down here in the dark. Decorative antlers. Painting? Is this a usable bed? It is not. I don't want it then, right? Oh, boy. I'm stuck. Um, blocks. I need blocks. What do I got? A little bit of plant matter? Sure. Something like that. Okay, um, yeah, I've had enough of this place. Let's get out. Let's go. A toilet? Do I need a toilet? Ah. It's windy on this place. In this place. This is rice, isn't it? It is. I'll take that seed. That's another important crop to have. Bunnies. Ooh. Those are good eats. It's a good thing to have. Those guys. Uh, I believe they're uh, Kel Kelvats? Kelvits? Throw peas. Come on, steak. Oh. I'm not very smart. Oh yeah, I got lots and lots of breath for underwater. So if we see water, that's good. Because I think it heals me too. Uh, according to our tricoder, right? Um, perks. Let's see. Ocean biomes. Healing and water. Yeah. Healing, waste, and swamp. Water. Oh, okay. So this isn't... I don't know how specific it is, but um, yeah. I don't know if that's a good bird or a bad bird. Let's get some of this copper. There's also iron right below me, too. Very important. Please don't be, don't be mean. Okay, good. Okay, let's get down here. One thing I noticed I didn't have uh, from skipping the intro is my keep. Which is a shame, but that's alright. We'll, we'll create our own look. Some mud. It's not very useful. Um, I do want to take one of these bricks. Because then I can learn how to make heavy stone bricks. I think that's what they are. Yep, heavy stone brick. Okay, so we're gonna get this, um... Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Ooh, no way. Is there cotton here too? That's a good find. Cotton is a good find early because... Uh, I can't remember what playthrough it was. I did one uh, a long time ago. Eh, not too. Oh yeah, probably a long time ago. Um, that I found cotton. I didn't find cotton, like in the initial, and I needed it. I can't remember why. Are you friendly? I'm just blocking. I'm trying to be nice, I promise. It's also coal. This is important. 
Lots of important things on the first planet. Lots of wind. What is going on? That's crazy. It's also bone. This would be good. Uh, maybe I can start with the bone set. Uh, grizzly and primitive. Grizzly and primitive. Grizzly or grizzly? Boy, for a, a starting planet, this is pretty crazy. What's with the wind? Does it blow? I guess it doesn't really... It does do something. It slows me down. Oh, boy. Okay. Shelter. Shelter. <laughs> Oh, fracking is nice. Okay, what are we getting? What kind of weather? Is this rain? Just regular old rainwater? Okay, so, uh, yeah! <laughs> this is a friendly. I believe foxes are friendly. Um, yeah, I think they're friendly. Corn, staple crop. Uh,. Good? Friendly? Good. Oh. Uh, I can't remember what those guys are, but they do have a shield I might want. Sometimes they drop a shield. I can't remember what it's called, but um, I think it's modded. It's a fracking shield of some sort, but come on. One more. There we go. Nope. There's some bones down here, though. I might go for a bone set of some sort, so I'm going to gather them up just because I'm finding them, uh, and we'll do some research, and we'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get somewhere. <laughs> I know it's a slow start, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but um, it's been a while since I've actually recorded, and I'm kind of... Um, I'm kind of rusty at it, to be honest. But, but I'm trying. Um, I want to make videos. And I want to do something that's not... Uh, for a bit. So this is kind of what I picked. Um, I love Terraria, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of exhausted from it. Um, it's been very, very consuming. It's still, we're still talking about food. Uh, I said, I'm, I'm in the camp of I don't really care. Sorry, me and my wife, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> I'm killing all these birds. What a nice guy. Uh, and I'm, I'm saying, I don't care, just whatever, you know. Uh, typical, typical muley response. And she says, uh, well, did I throw that on accident? I did. Okay. We need food. Let's eat some corn. Because it's probably... Pearl peas first, because they're probably the first to go bad. Then corn. Uh, save the rice, save the wheat. Eat some potatoes because they fill well. And they are, they last forever. Um, okay, so I'm in the camp of, uh, I don't care, just get me something to eat. She's, um, she's out and about uh, with the kiddo. And. Um, I said, eh, anything, and she's like, anything special? And I'm saying, no, just whatever. <laughs> and she keeps asking me, uh, well, I, do you want to go, do you want some of this? Do you want some of that? No, I don't care, just, <laughs> just give me whatever. Okay, so I'm, I'm cooking four out of five so that I can keep one rice for stacking purposes. Um, you guys have seen my... Terraria playthroughs and whatnot. That's a pretty common practice for me. I don't really, uh, I don't like to stack 
things very much. Oh, I don't like to organize my inventory very much, I guess I should say. There's some packed bones here. This guy is going to be very troublesome. Oh no, I made two of them mad. Okay, how about you? How strong are you? Gotcha. Let's get in here. You've probably rushed me. Usually the case. Yep. Come on, these little potatoes. Okay, good. So yeah, um... Yeah, Muley's not really picky about his food. Not today, anyway. I just kind of feel like, uh... Yeah. Alright. Okay, she says, uh... <laughs> she says, uh... I'll let you know when I'm on the way home. Sounds good! <laughs> Yeah, um, we're getting there. Let's get in here. What do we got? Manipulator module. Very, very nice. Because the quicker we can get our uh, matter manipulator upgraded, the better. That looks like a slime. They aren't very nice. They can be very bad, especially when they're uh, slime variants. This isn't a vanilla type of slime, I do not think. Looks like it's getting windy again, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna brave it. I'm grabbing these flower seeds uh, just because I really don't have anything, so it's just kind of just grab everything we can. See, the Alt key is very, very useful because it shows different things in the ground and whatnot that I wouldn't otherwise see. I think those guys are friendly. Good. Molotovs. Nice. And tech cards. Sweet. Tech cards are another good thing to have. Um, yeah. They help you uh, become more mobile. Well, you learn techniques like... Uh, or t techs? Tech... Are they techniques? I'm not sure. Uh, that's a pop top. Okay. Pop tops are cool. I can also use some of this plant fiber if I can. Okay. I'm exploring the planet. I think I went the wrong way. Oh no, maybe not. There's a cave right here and this is where I'm supposed to eventually go, I think. I really need to learn double jump. Okay. Uh, not yet. Oops. Don't know what it was. Didn't mean to. Ooh, a bow. Very, very nice. I will take that. Um, oh, and I did get a shield. Not mid shield. This is a tier 3, though, so I can't really justify. Well. Shock immunity, that's cool. Uh, healing arrow. What? Let's do it on um, this one. Let's go there. No backpedal, unfortunately. Backpedal is a very, very good move for a bow. The good thing about uh, using a bow is uh, 
you get uh, monster drops. You get better monster drops. Oh, nice. That's cool. It heals. That's what it... Okay. Not useful for... Uh, well, I guess it can be useful for me. I just gotta hit something <laughs> with it. Which isn't... Oh. Well, that's good. I don't have double jump, though. Unfortunately. I hear a... I think they're pop tops. I think that's what they're called. Tomato. Tomatoes! Where's all the music, anyway? Um... Beds. Oh, well, that's a cool looking tree. What time is it? Okay. okay. Oh, good. Okay. Welcome to my mobile lab, traveler. Come on in and visit. Uh, I've got a big comfy couch and a medical bay if you have any nasty injuries to heal up. And this guy, Nova Kid, wants me to go on a quest. In order to fix your ship, you'll, you'll need to complete several tasks. Speak to me to begin. Okay. Uh, I forgot this guy's name. What is his name? Does it say? Uh, no. But he has a name, and I can't remember what it is. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um, yeah. I think we'll end it here, guys. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, we did a little exploration of the planet for episode one of Starbound 1.4 Fracking Universe. Should I just call it modded? It's modded. Modded 1.4. Okay. So, if you liked the video, leave me a like. Uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when a new video comes out. I've never said that before. Why haven't I ever said that before? Okay. Bye! <laughs>